All right, they're playing a game where grinding probably isn't worth it. It's Sharp by 2. So today I've decided to come to you guys and basically explain my, or probably most people's strategies with playing this game. Basically, I'm going to tell you how to get infinite sharp teeth, basically. So the way that you can grind in Sharp Bite 2, at least in a public server, there is a way to do it on private server. I'll show you how to do that towards the end of the video. It's definitely not as efficient doing it on a private server as you don't get a lot of money, a lot of sharp teeth each round. So I definitely recommend uh, doing this on a public server rather than a private one. The private one basically confirms that you will actually grind, whereas public ones get you are a lot are just so much quicker so let's just first start off with the stuff that you will need for grinding so if you want to grind sharp teeth then by far the best boats that you should probably aim for are the small dinghy motorboat and the jet ski the jet ski especially is very good for grinding i've used it so many times this was the thing that got me basically most of the stuff i wanted in this in this game. I might even begin using this to get the Marlin eventually. In terms of what weapon I would recommend you use, by far I would recommend the rocket launcher, in my opinion the best gun in the game. Sometimes it doesn't work with certain um, certain boats, like for, some, for, like for example I keep on hitting my speedboat because my speedboat is so big, so it's kind of hard to use it in certain boats as you can't shoot backwards, you can only shoot forwards. In the jet ski, however, you can use it to basically, you know, you can shoot anywhere with it. And I think it may have been fixed, I don't know. But from what I understand, big boats, you can't really use it. I would also recommend uh, saving up for the killer whale orca, definitely the best uh, shark for grinding. Probably start off with the hammerhead first, but I would definitely recommend the killer whale orca. That will help you massively when grinding when you're actually the shark. So basically the way that you want to grind is you need to judge by what shark they have. So if they have a default shark, then they will probably be either a mobile player or a player that isn't used to the game. And so therefore they won't be as good of a shark. And as you can see here, this shark is doing absolutely nothing. As you can see there, he's being an absolute idiot and going everywhere. So there are certain sharks, like the default shark, that you can take liberties with. Any other shark, expect them to be good at the game. So the way that you want to kill the shark is by toying with it, avoiding close combat, but still being decently close to, to the point that you can see it under the water, like how I'm seeing it. And then basically it's just shooting the shark with the rocket launcher as much as you can. This is how I would recommend grinding if you're on a public server especially. And there you go. See, I just defeated the shark and nobody else did anything. A thousand damage. So yeah, the, the jet ski rocket launcher combination by far is the best combination. And then as a shark, obviously the killer whale, you do everything how you would normally do it. It's pretty self-explanatory and that's how you basically grind shark teeth in public servers. If you get a different shark, however, if it's like a hammerhead shark, expect them to be decently well, decently good at the game. So don't take as many liberties. And if the shark is per se AFK, you need to find the area where the shark comes out of, which I just showed you guys. So like where the shark comes out, it will continuously going in a it will continue going in a straight line until it hits the wall on the other side. So basically all you need to do is head over there and just kill the shark because it's AFK. You can take a lot of liberties when you have an AFK shark. Um, at night time, definitely be a lot more wary of the shark because you won't be able to see it as much. Obviously there are lucky situations as well like this where the shark may just leave. I have discovered that a lot of people don't like being the shark in this game. As we've probably learned from my previous videos. A lot of people don't like being the shark apparently. I have no idea why, but a lot of people don't want to be the shark. But that's basically how I would grind jet ski, rocket launcher, pretty self-explanatory. Um, for a cheap gun, I would recommend um, maybe grinding with is probably the rifle and then maybe the Thompson gun are also uh, good guns to grind with, especially in the with the combination of the jet ski. So yeah, this is basically how I would grind. Just use the jet ski, use the rocket launcher, and then just toy with the shark. 
and make sure you're close enough so that you can see it underwater. But don't get too close to the point that you won't have any time to respond if the shark comes straight for you. So make sure you have enough time. Also, make sure that you, when the shark spawns, you stay near the entrance. Don't shoot... Don't shoot the shark when it's just coming out, as it will likely notice you. You can also judge how... I've also learned that you can somewhat judge what the shark is going to do, depending on their, like, Roblox avatar. If they have a default Roblox avatar, then it's very likely that they won't really be able to control themselves. And be sort of like this. They're just, like, running into walls. And then, from there, it's basically just toying with the shark, circling it. Make sure you don't get too close. Make sure you have enough time to react in case it comes straight for you. And then basically just shoot the shark as many times as you can. And then you'll basically just win from there. And you can get maximum shark teeth. Like I just got 150 from that one, one round alone. Now another way that you can grind is through private servers. Now private servers are apparently free on Sharkbite 2. So you can easily use them for grinding. Unfortunately, for this, you will need either a friend to help you out or an alt account, which I do have an alt account, but I don't really have it on any other device. And then from here, you would basically just spawn in your alt account, play with them, and then your alt account, all you need to do is make sure that they don't go AFK and make sure you don't go AFK. And then you can basically just kill the shark from there. Now, just a warning, if you do it on private servers, you won't get as much shark teeth. So it's definitely not the best way of grinding, one of the ways to grind uh, shark teeth is to do it afk -ly. I don't know if afk is a word. I just had to add an L-Y on it. Okay, that sounded worse than I anticipated. And, yeah, you would basically just... A Private servers are free, and it's basically the way that you would AFK grind. Definitely not the most efficient way of grinding shark teeth, but if you don't want to have to go through the process of just manually grinding shark teeth, then private servers are definitely the way to go. You can still get a decent amount of money from it. It's essentially just a case of waiting for the time to run out. And then you'll get sharp teeth automatically. Now, you're only really going to get like 20 or 15 sharp teeth per round. And considering that each round will last 3-ish, 4-ish minutes. It's definitely not the quickest method. But it is a method that I would certainly recommend if you're really finding manual grinding very hard. So, um, yeah. As a lot of my viewers who have been very curious about what, how the best way to grind is so yeah you either manually grind with the jet ski and the rocket launcher and just toying with the shark make sure that the shark is default shark if it's not then i would suggest that you just go on a normal survive um and then if you're not trying to uh and then if you're not trying to do the manual grind and you just want to do it afk -ly, then definitely use a private servers which are free and you can then uh, get an alt account and then just afk Thank you so much for watching, hope you all did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe, slap the bell, and come back in two days for the next video. Leave a like, share with a friend, you know what to do guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I salute you, peace.